Sunday and I am about to, oh my gosh, it's so hot outside. I'm about to go across the street and bring back um, pool key to my neighbor. My neighbor in front of me was really sweet and let us use their pool key because our pool key doesn't work. When we first moved in here, they gave us the incorrect key and that is just a whole nother mission. I'm just mission to get the key. I'm frustrated with that because when we bought our house, the key that they gave us for the pool is an actual key. Um, and I guess it's not an actual key anymore. It's a key card that you need for the pool. And the one we have is, like I said, an actual key. Um, but I guess HOA, they switched, they have new people. So when they switched over, I guess they changed the pool key. So I emailed the new owners, told them that we're new to the neighborhood. We've been here for, I think now three months. We moved in February or March. We moved in March, I think. So told them we just bought a house in the neighborhood. The key that we have is incorrect. Just wondering how we can get a new key. And also my the guy emailed me back said I would have to pay $25, although your first key is supposed to be free. And then if you lose misplaced or someone steals a key, then you have to pay for a replacement. Um so yeah, he said I had to pay $25. Plus I had to drive over an hour away. They said I would have to go into the office to pick up the key. I Googled the address. It's exactly one hour from my house in Atlanta. If you guys live in the Atlanta area, you know that downtown Atlanta gets um, super busy, especially on a Friday afternoon, which is when they wanted us to go into Atlanta to pick up the key, which is ridiculous. So I refused to do that. So I'm sorry, this guy's walking and staring at me because I'm talking, but um, yeah, I refused to drive over an hour just for a freaking pool key. So now my husband has to email him and tell him that you know we're not gonna drive over an hour away to get a pool key but anyways <laughs> all of that just so you guys know I'm gonna bring the key back to my neighbors we've had it for like two weeks now a little over two weeks and I know they have grandkids um, and I'm pretty sure they want to bring their grandkids you know to the pool as well so I'm gonna return their pool key and hopefully we can get our own pool key soon but anyways I'll vlog when I get back home I'm going to be in the backyard with the kids we're gonna have a little outdoor fun day. So see you guys. My neighbors aren't home, so I'm gonna have to come later on today or maybe tomorrow to bring the key back. But I'm about to go outside in the backyard and play with the kids. They're gonna have a water balloon fight with the sprinkler and stuff. We're also barbecuing. We're doing burgers on the grill. Oh yeah, so I tried to bring Madison outside, but she was screaming her head off. She was cranky, so she's actually taking a nap. So she'll, she'll be taking a nap when she wakes up, she'll go outside. You wanna show them what you caught? I have no clue what he caught. This looks like kind of like a, is this a maggot? I hope that's not a maggot. Um, I bought him this little cool thing that he can catch bugs and then there's tweezers he can pick up the bugs with and put them in here. He came up to me and said he caught something. I don't know if that's a worm or a maggot. Where did he find it? Of it when, when the screw was down at, oh. in the backyard. Not to ask Robert what it, it was is. In the wall. It, was in the it could be floor. like a um, <clears throat> caterpillar. I don't know, baby caterpillar. Kind of looks like a baby caterpillar. Well, ask daddy because this because this is a maggot i don't want you playing with it so let's go ask daddy what it is but it's pretty cool he caught one yeah and then it has holes on top so the bugs can breathe let's go in the backyard okay Ryan wants me to go catch some bugs with him so that's what i'm about to do he i, I do think that first bug he caught was like a maggot um thankfully he didn't touch it with his hands he used like the little tweezers so so i dumped it out and i told him he had to catch something else like a ladybug or a love bug or even an earthworm. Wait, I can catch an earthworm? If you find an earthworm, you can catch him. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you which bug I'm gonna catch after I'm finished catching the bug. But leave the camera on. Okay, I'll leave the camera on. And yeah, and you can um, the, the net. net. Yeah, yeah, they see the net. Yeah, and there's a little bug in it. Oh, cool. It's such a beautiful day out today. It has been raining like the past two weeks. It's been rainy and gloomy here in Georgia. So I'm really happy that we have some beautiful sunshine, clear skies. Gorgeous. So we are barbecuing. I really want to go to the supermarket and get like a drink or something, but I'm too lazy to go to the grocery store. You want to get an ant? Yeah.
thinking it's a beetle. It looks like a beetle, like a black little beetle. He's in there. And I think it's like pooping or something. I don't know. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Hey, I just want to show you really fast. My husband decided to build another little box for our vegetable and fruit garden. And instead of using the pool noodles like we did over there, he decided to use wood, which I like a lot more. I think it just looks a lot more prettier. So this one right now is empty. We haven't put anything in here, but this is where our green beans and um, probably other vegetables. I think we're gonna do green beans, lettuce, and I'm not sure what else. Um, yeah, that's what's gonna go in there. So he's gonna end up taking those green pool noodles off and just doing it with wood. So I thought I would just show you guys because I think it's really cute. Hey guys, so it is Friday afternoon. It is 12.50 to be exact. I'm about to go get some lunch. We just left Target and I spent a little more than what I expected or wanted to but they had some sales and I took advantage of some of the sales that they were having. So yeah, I did spend a little more than expected, but there are things that we needed, so. But anyways, guys, we are now in front of Dollar Tree. We're gonna go in, Ryan has some money, so he wants to buy some toys. Maybe we can find some pool toys as well. I had to, five. I had to get five. Get five of the toys. Um, so we are babysitting or dog watching, whatever you want to call it, dog sitting. Um, Robert's cousin's dogs, both her dogs, for five or six days. I think six, six days we're gonna have them. So she did pay us to watch them for six days. And since Ryan is helping take care of the dogs, he's helping us walk the dogs and feed them and play with them. So we gave him some of the money as well because he is helping. So he got some money and he asked if he can come to the Dollar Tree to pick out some toys. So I told him not to spend all his money. He did get $20. So I told him he can spend half of it and then he has to save the other half. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go into Dollar Tree, see what we can find. And then after that, like I said, we will probably go to Chick-fil-A for some lunch and then grocery shopping. So I want to vlog today just because I did vlog last weekend, but I didn't vlog as much. So just wanted to get another vlog in so the video could be a decent size. Um, whenever I get home, I will show you guys what I purchased from Target. I know you guys are probably sick of my Target hauls and my Target shop with me, but I love Target, so hopefully you guys aren't bored or annoyed with how many Target hauls I do. Anyways, we're going to head into Dollar Tree. If it's not too crowded, then I will vlog in there. If not, then we will see you guys in a little. You're gonna get that? Yeah, I'm gonna squirt you in the face. You're gonna squirt me in the face? Madison, what's the matter? You're so cranky. So, so far we have two pool noodles, and he has that little water toy. A parrot. No, you already have um like blow up toys. Let's get something else. What's this? This is cute. Inflatable decoration. Hey, that was, that was cute. That's cute. That's mango. Look, there are kites up there. Do you want a kite? They have a bunch no, of beach more. and hey, like, cool toys. Those. You want a new one of those? Oh yeah, yours broke. So let's get let's get you another one of these. In a dollar tree and Ryan's no. taking forever to pick out some stuff. Madison just ate a snack and now she's super cranky, so we gotta hurry up and go, huh? Yeah. Oh, I just have Why does it take so long for a kid to pick out toys? Ryan, you have to hurry up because we gotta go get some lunch since he's cranky. We're in the toy aisle. It's not too crowded in here, so I did take like one or two clips for you guys, but here's Ryan trying to pick out toys. Hey guys, so we are now back home and it is, I can't believe it's already 5 o'clock, it's past 5 o'clock and we left the house like at 10 a.m. this morning. We just got home now. We went to Target, Dollar Tree, we went and got some lunch at Chick-fil-A, we went grocery shopping and went to Bath & Body Works again and that's all we did. Hey, come back over here because that dog's in the front. And now we're outside walking the dogs. I told you guys that we are dog sitting for six days. So we are walking the dogs in the backyard because we can't take a walk around the neighborhood with these dogs because there's another dog on the loose and it's like a pit bull and he's already caned and trampled our dogs um, this morning and he's still out. So I'm trying to hide in the backyard and let the dogs run around for a little bit to get some energy out and use the potty because these dogs keep on using it in my house, which I'm not too happy about, but I don't know, I'm thinking maybe since it's a new environment for them, they're trying to mark their territory, but it's been two days now and they're still using the bathroom in my house. Hey, lower your voice. Um, so yeah, we're just going to walk around in the backyard with the dogs, so, and go back in because I'm sweating. 
so bad. It's so hot out here. Here are the doggies. There's one there. Ryan's walking the other one, right? There's the second one. So these are all our dogs for six days. And like I said, we're in the backyard because we don't want the pit bull to come and get us, right? They're pretty small dogs. We want to eventually get a dog for the kids, but not right now. It's not in the cards right now. But we have all this land and we can't do anything with it because the other dog is scared is going to see us. We still have to gate our backyard as well, guys. I showed you another vlog, but this is all of our land from the side. And then all the way down to that green little box down there, that's all of our land. And then this whole section up to that little hill. And here's our garden. Oh, guys, I need to do an update update on our garden if you guys follow me on instagram you would already exactly. seen a tomato and the pepper but here is a tomato coming in okay. and then we just planted the seeds for the green beans in there we have to plant something else in there and then over here Whoa. watch out over here peppers are coming in so you guys can see right there peppers coming in and then over here, I think they're starting to sprout, but those are some more peppers. And then cucumbers, I haven't seen anything. But over here on the cantaloupe, there are some flowers coming in. So, I don't know. Hopefully they come in soon. But yeah, that's our update on our garden. Let's head inside. Mommy's super hot. What? We're going to head back and it's super hot outside, okay? Get some water. Hey guys, so it is now a little later. Don't mind my appearance. It was so hot outside when we were walking the dogs, so I had to put my hair up and I'm still really hot. And I'm also having a little beverage. I've never had these, so if you're on the keto diet, then I would suggest these or recommend these. Um, technically, when you're on the keto diet, you shouldn't have any alcohol, but they do say you can have it in moderation. So I was looking for something because it's summer, it's hot, and we've been hanging out in the backyard a lot and I really want it like an alcoholic beverage. Um, so I found these, these are called Henry's Hard Sparkling Water and it's only 88 calories a can, which I thought was really good. And then it only has 1.7 grams of carbs and zero grams of sugar. So that's really good. So I'm just sipping on this. This is in lemon lime and it tastes pretty good. I like it. Um, I'm not sure if they have any other flavors, but this one tastes pretty good. Anyways, let's get into my haul. I told you guys I would show you what we purchased, so I'll show you everything from Dollar Tree first. So the first thing is just going to be this little backyard travel bug kit. Um, Ryan did have this. I bought it like a week or two ago, and he used it. He loved it, and then on accident, he stepped on it and broke it, so we bought another one. And then they needed pool toys, so I bought this Splash and Swim water balls. We had these last year, and I have no idea what happened to them, so I bought another pack of those. And then I bought some pool noodles. I bought three of them. The other two are downstairs. Ryan's playing with them, so bought three of those. And then I bought these really cute hair clips for Madison. I bought another pack for her last time I went to Dollar Tree, and I loved them. They're so cute. And I found these. They are white, and then they have different colored flowers on them, so... Pack of 10 for a dollar, that's a really good deal. And then another pool toy I got is this Splash and Swim inflatable kickboard. And it has like handles on it right there I thought was pretty cool. So I thought that would be fun to bring to the pool as well. And then I found this. I need a new like little coupon organizer. I used to have one of these and it's so old. I don't even know where it is, but the last time I tried to use it, it was like falling apart. And I've never seen this design at my Dollar Tree before. I found it and thought it was really cute. It's clear with like purple flowers. So I bought that to organize my coupons. Then I bought Ryan another one of these placemats. He used to have one and I don't know what happened to it. So we bought a new placemat for Ryan. And then I also bought these. I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree. They look interesting. They're called Clean Life Multipurpose Cleaning Cloths. It comes with two. And it says it is ideal for wood, glass, leather, electronics, and auto. You can either use it wet or dry. So for a pack of two, I thought I would try that out. And then I just bought this little watering tub thing because I need to water my flowers and also my vegetables and my fruits in my garden. So I bought one of these. And then the last things I purchased are these little mason jar mugs. Um, if you guys follow Lindsay from Lindsay's Life and Style, one of her Dollar Tree hauls, she had hauled just one of them and she said that she wanted more, but there just wasn't any in her Dollar Tree. So I texted her and I told her, hey girl, I always see them in my local Dollar Tree. So the next time I go, if I find them, 
I will pick up a few for you. So when I went today, I did look for them and I found a few. So I picked up four of them for her. So I have two more in the bag over there. So it's just these cute little mason jar mugs. I actually have a few of them myself and I love them. They're cute. So yeah, four of those. Now moving on to Target, I guess I'll just show you guys all the boring stuff first. Um, we needed some more like Lysol wipes. So I picked up these Greenworks ones. They were on clearance for $2.00. And then I found these on clearance as well. I always buy the kids the Annie's little organic um, granola bars and other stuff from this line. And they were on clearance for $2.60. I checked the expiration date to make sure they weren't expired or wasn't going to expire soon. And it's not. So I bought the gluten-free ones and oatmeal cookie and then some chewy peanut butter chocolate chip ones. I was out of my Cetaphil face wash, just picked up some more of that. And then I just needed some more face cream, face lotion. So I picked up the box of Aveeno face lotion. And then I picked up two things from the dollar spot. I just picked up a gift bag to put my husband's Father's Day gift in from the kids. I bought the matching tissue paper, so I thought it would be cute to have the matching little gift bag. This was only a dollar. And then I found this, I thought it was really cute. It's a wooden crate, it was only $3. And it says fresh lemon and I thought this would go perfect in my kitchen. My kitchen's white and I have other wood stuff in my kitchen. So I usually always have lemons on hand because I love my lemon water. So I thought I can store all my lemons in there. So if you watched my vlog from Memorial Day, you would have seen that I did haul a bathing suit. But I brought that bathing suit back because it was just too tight on me and I felt uncomfortable in it. And I thought that after I washed it, it probably was going to shrink just a little and then it would be even more tight on me. So I just brought that back and I'm glad I did because I found two bathing suits that I really, really love. I love these bathing suits. They're both one pieces, which I have been looking for forever. So the first one is this black one. This is probably my favorite one. So it's black and it has like a crocheting detail in the front. It's like a cream color. It is so comfortable. I love it. And then it's really low cut, but right here, this like little strap right here, it kind of holds, you know, my boobs in place. Um, all the other bathing suits that I tried on, I really liked, but they weren't like halter. They were just like straps. And you know what? After having kids and breastfeeding, my boobs are not the same. I do not have perky boobs anymore. So I need something that I can tie tight so I can have more support. So I really loved that and it covered my entire butt. There was another bathing suit that I really, really wanted. I tried on. It was so cute, but I couldn't get it because it was like the Brazilian butt one and my butt was pretty much all the way out and it's just too uncomfortable, especially with kids. It's not realistic. So I like these because um, it covers the entire butt, but it's so comfortable, guys. I would try this on for you, but I don't know. I'm just uncomfortable modeling bathing suits in front of the camera, but this is the first one. Super, super cute. And then the second bathing suit that I picked up is this black one. What I really like about it is that you can remove this strap. So you can either have it as like a halter that goes around your neck if you want more support, or if you don't want like that tan line, then you can just wear it like that strapless, but it's all black and then it has mesh by the stomach. And again, it covers my entire butt, which I like. And so then it also has mesh in the back. So this whole back right here is all mesh. So these bathing suits, I love, they're so comfortable. And I'm glad that I brought back the other one because I probably would have never found these. So that is the second one that I purchased. The next item I picked up was a pair of shoes for myself. I could not leave these behind. They were originally $25 and on clearance for $12.48. So I grabbed some. They are all gray. So comfortable, guys. These are probably the most comfortable shoes I own right now. I love them. You can tie them up. They're gray. They kind of look like... Yeezys, but I would never spend that much on a pair of sneakers. But to me, they kind of look like the Yeezys, but they're so comfortable. I love them. And yeah, I'll be wearing these a lot for $12.48. Could not pass that up. And then I picked up a few kids' clothing items. I picked up my niece this really cute long sleeve shirt with a heart in the front. Um, right now, they have a lot of kids' clothes again on sale for 30% off. And if you have the Cartwheel app, then it's an additional 20% off. So a total of 50% off. So Took advantage again. This was $3.48 and I picked that up for my niece. And then the other thing I picked up for my niece was this sweater. So Madison has this sweater, but just in a different color. So it's a sweater and then it came with these really cute gray bottoms. And this set was only $4. And then 
for Madison. I bought her this shirt. I just thought it was so cute, especially for summer. It has popsicles on it. So it's like a mustard yellow shirt with a bunch of popsicles on it. And then I thought that would match really well with these little blue and white striped shorts. And then Ryan, I found these shorts for him. They were on clearance for $3.58. You cannot pass up something for that price. So behind these shorts, I was trying to look for a shirt to match with this, but I couldn't. All the ones that I liked, they either didn't have his size or was too expensive. There's one shirt I was gonna get and it was like 11 bucks and I was like, I'm not spending $11 on that shirt. But I bought him those shorts. And then I bought him these just like sweatpants. They're Thomas the Train. And they were on clearance as well for $3.88. Are you cooking my camera? And yeah, I think that's the last thing that I picked up. Yeah, that's the last thing that I picked up from Target. So yeah, that was the last item that I got from Target. So now I'm just going to get the kids in the bath. It's already now probably past six. So get the kids in the bath, make them some dinner. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore for the rest of the day. I just wanted to get a few more clips to add it to last weekend's vlog. So I guess I'll just end it here and say thank you so much for watching our vlog. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. It helps our channel. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can join me and my YouTube family. And also turn on your notification bell if you would like to be notified anytime we upload a video. And we will see you guys in our next vlog. Bye.